Hello, everybody! It's me, Dave, again, and thank you for joining me on the Points of Articulation. And today we're looking at another Republic gunship, which is part of the Star Wars Black Series line of diecast ships, which is basically a continuation of Titanium's. And uh, this is a totally different mold than the one we looked at before. And you could definitely see it in every aspect. It's totally different. It even has the door that's shut. So, uh, just like before, we'll go over the mold, the paint, and uh, that'll be it. So let's get started. Okay, now the Black Series, instead of reusing the old mold, use a brand new one. And uh, you could tell it's more film accurate. You got all the line work, which it would have been great with a black wash, like the uh, original one, so you could see all those beautiful lines, but they didn't. We got our gun here, all this panel work going right down the bottom. Nice. And it's the same on this side. Nice panel work. Again, no weapon pods on either side, but it is on the wind. And the cockpit does not open. I tried. I think it's, uh, it might be covering a screw port. I don't know, because there's no screws on here. I can't find any, which is awesome. Sick of seeing screws. But, uh, the guns are nice. Brand new. Cockpit's good. Goes up. There's the missiles again, the missile pods. They're molded nicely. The winds are great. There's a weapon pod there. And also one on this side. And underneath is good. We have uh, some sort of missiles here. And the interior up until the main body. Turn it around. This is molded nicely. Connecting to the gun. Oh no, it's, it's a great mold. And the best part, there's no screw holes. And we got our peg hole right there for the stand. So let's go over the paint. Okay, starting at the top, we have a nice maroon. And the whole, first of all, the whole body is a similar cream color or tan as the original one. It's just lighter. So I can't knock it for that because at least it's painted. And then we have our maroon, black, gray, lighter gray, darker gray. And the maroon has that worn look, so that's pretty cool. Going down to the cockpit, we have black windows. We have yellow and gray, but a turret. The guns have a gray tip, that's cool. Republic symbol, black windows. Underneath is painted maroon as well. Gray vents. And the bottom has a little maroon there. So all in all, it's pretty nice. It's a nice little ship. So to measure up, we'll go from the tip of the guns, like the other one. And it's uh, over two and a half inches. It's not quite three. So technically, it's a little smaller than the original. Let me get that bad boy here just one more time. You could uh, compare them. There we go. So you're getting more ship with the older one. But the new one's more accurate. So I would say go with this one. Because to get this version with the closed doors, it's very expensive. So you're better off just buying him if you can find it. And just like all the Titaniums or Black Series, it comes with a nice stand. It says Star Wars. And just peg that in. And you're good to go. So that was my review of the Star Wars Black Series Republic gunship. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.